Dr. Rose, Coach Bryant, members of the football team, faculty, students, and friends of the University of Alabama. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to congratulate you on the season that you've just finished. I was at college in the 30s, and I remember those days when the uh, Crimson Tide was sweeping across the United States, when it went to the Rose Bowl on several occasions and won. And I am delighted, and I'm sure all of us who are uh, supporters of football are delighted to see the University of Alabama on the top again. And I think that what is particularly satisfying is that the University of Alabama, while emphasizing uh, sports and emphasizing football, that the players on this team have also uh, recognized uh, other obligations that have been combined scholastic accomplishment. And uh, I think that uh, it's a sort of source of satisfaction to all of us who are interested in your school and state and in this country that we can produce uh, people who recognize the interrelationship between uh, physical fitness and uh, those who uh, want to uh, carry the burdens which uh, go with national life today. The University of Alabama has one of the finest traditions in intercollegiate football. And on January 1st, you will be playing your third game at the Sugar Bowl, and uh, I will be watching it on television. Tonight, we're present at the National Football Hall of Fame dinner. And it is a uh, source of satisfaction to note that your University of Alabama has had four former players and two former coaches honored by the Football Hall of Fame. And one of your former players, Mr. Young Boozer, is receiving the Sports Illustrated Silver Anniversary Award tonight, along with 24 others. The University of Alabama is a great school and has had a uh, great uh, tradition in the South and in the country. I congratulate the members of the team tonight, and I wish you every success uh, come January and every success to the university in the future.